such a beautiful day outside. Ready to take this road trip. Rib off, Chicago City. Big do it to it coming for you. See, I have a secret. It's something that most Steeler fans and even some of my teammates don't know about me. And that secret is, I'm a cook. And a pretty damn good one too. I enjoy cooking all sorts of food, but especially barbecue. For the past four years, I have been participating in a rib off competition. How did it start? Back when I was in college at Notre Dame. I became good friends with my best friend who was a mascot, Johnny Romano. His dad, Michael, is a big time cook and chef in his neighborhood. I started talking to Michael, just chef to chef one day. I told him I could beat him in a rib off. And that's how the rib off was born. The first two years, I won. The third year, he got me. Now, I need to get my title back. First thing first, I gotta get my spices. At the Giant Eagle Market District. Now, I can't tell you guys my secret recipe. That's the secret. So your spices have to be one of the best spices. And that flavor hit your mouth, it's like Katy Perry fireworks. Yes, I got what I need from Giant Eagle Market District. Going to South Bend, Indiana before we get there to go to Notre Dame a little bit. So when you come in here, you're gonna see the greats, you're gonna see the national championship football that they won. All time greats in football and remembered by all who love football. So yeah, this is where we train. Like at an indoor, and you see our weight room. We'll come in here to our practice facility. And action. This is what makes football. This will give people the chills when they watch stuff like this. It's giving me the chills, and I play it. You know, some of the greats, me right there, got a chance to hit the wall. There are a lot of guys from here that got a chance to play for the Steelers. I'm glad to be on it as one of them. But, you know, this guy just got accolades after accolades after accolades. That's awesome. Awesome being back, seeing it, bring back memories. To make it to a place like this is an awesome experience, and it's fantastic just to know, like, just what a little hard work and dedication could bring you, you know. Every time I come back, I need to go to the grotto and say a couple prayers for the seasons, the families, families in need, and you know, pray for a better world. Got a chance to see some great friends of mine. The facilities is fantastic, and uh, got a chance to pray too. But at the end of the day, this is a rib off, and I made sure I prayed that I could get that win and get my trophy back home too. Just want everybody to know. And I'll see you guys in Chicago. I feel like we have ribs once a month and there's little tweaks here and there. Just what do you think of this, that, sweet, spicy. This is really crazy. This is my first time here. It says best ribs and if you can see on the side, if you could focus in right there. Romano, Michael Romano, 2016. I'm sorry, what did the first and, two names say? And it's gonna stay there. Oh, can you, can you let go of the back? Right back <laughs> Stefan came over when he was only in college and said, that he was a good cook. Didn't believe him, so we had a little barbecue, and he says, oh, I gotta beat you, Mr. Romano. So we said, okay, we'll have a rib off. Now, last year there was some uh, suspicious judging. Uh, I only came in second place, but uh, Stefan <laughs> was very disappointed because uh, he wasn't expecting this one out of left field. They took my baby away from me. Looking at it every day, that was an empty spot and a hole in my heart but I'm getting my trophy back. And this year is the year. I'm thinking of wearing it, but I'm not sure. It'll throw them off. Oh yeah. Oh, well, if you had a 91 on that. Do you see how legit this is? This is, yeah, this, this is, is legit. legit. <laughs> Everything's chaos. That's all I have to say. Everything is just chaotic. I want Stefan to really focus. He's currently on the golf course right now. While you were playing all day, I was actually working. You can see that it's a perfect temperature of 200. 40 degrees, <laughs> and it's on there for two hours. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Right here, you have a do it to it seasoning right here. I had it basically sit in my special sauce that I have it sit in overnight so the meat can suck up all that moisture. I put the winter ribs and spices together and rubbed them on, and now I'm about to put them on the grill. Ha, 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 ha.
Yeah. <laughs> yep. Our team is the uh, slap daddies. To make the barbecue rib, you got to make the barbecue sauce, and we make it with apples, and we make it with our homemade beer, which is the Cousin's Summer Ale, marinated in apple brine. And then this morning, we started smoking this with an apple uh, cedar wood. You know, we're a little intimidated by Stefan, to be honest. I hear he's a really good uh, football player. I know he's, he can break ribs. Let's just see if he can make ribs. That trophy belongs to somebody else this year, and that's somebody's me. Look, definitely your runaway favorite. It's probably going to be C. It is time to tally. In fourth place, Ribe, Mr. Conley. <laughs> Third place, Ribney, D. Michael Romano. Oh! 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 Fourth place, Ripsy. This is Mayo. Mayo! Oh! <laughs> 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 okay, that was good. You had it. I knew you had it. You did have a good one. I thought I was the last place. You did have a good one. You did. Stefan won twice, and then when I won, I just couldn't believe it. So I, I, I honestly, because everybody was saying they were looking for something different, but I was just so excited and just to be part of this, and uh, you know, just being able to to win a rib contest and have my name on that trophy forever is big. So thank you very much. Executive chef is Cheesecake Factory, and you know what you expect. You know, you know how to make things and blend things together, and he had a smoky flavor to his ribs that people like. So. Um, a lot of people said that my sauce and my texture was nice, but I, they like that smoky flavor. And I disagree. You know, a lot of people say they like it mine, that mine was good, but you know, what can you say? It was a close battle and got to get back in the kitchen, get better. You know, right now I got focused on football and, you know, just move on from there.